It's time to face the truth You can't handle the immaculate 100 proof like ever clear Full of strength and never fear You gun flappers, whack ass rappers And so called thugs with no stripes And credibility, respect to even love You see it's simple to pinpoint your weaknesses With precision and cripple your real points Like a spinal cord incision Through visions of premonition You get red like text My traditional intuition stops your moves Make next, so tell me who's gon' flex And attempt to break these barricades Knowing you get wrecked and soaked in the marinade Broke from the verbal spray Vertebrae's put out of place the physical touch of the brigade will force the tuck of your charades More than enough to safely say They use techniques are imperial Mutilation would take a miracle And this play is only lyrical though Spiritually felt by the hearts of real soldiers So oppose us, make way Cause the game's a fucking no Everybody know you're phony like baloney Scam like spam Use a cony Me and my peeps, we ain't playing And you're faking like Service Craigslist hoes Little hoes You a circus side show Faggots And we shining like diamonds We the ones that your bitch keep her wine Snapping, this your host for Loco And we're here live at the Immaculate Lab And you've tuned in to the Hot Topic We have a special interview for you today With none other than The Real Rap Rebel What it do, what it what do. It do. Okay, um So we asked our subscribers And their number one question was what led you to get into hip hop? Oh man, what led me to get into hip hop? Man, bro, talk. I started writing poetry back in grade school, man, and uh, you know, my poetry was about like stuff that was going on in my life. To where it's like I, you know, my parents divorced, stuff like that. So I would write about like feelings and stuff about that to kind of get it out, man. Um, yeah. And then all of a sudden, you know, my boy was like, dude, you should turn that into a rap. And he actually was the one that, that took one of my poems and started busting it like to a beat type thing. Oh, that's dope. And it sounded pretty dope. So, you know, from, from there I started kind of doing that, man. But um, it was really, man, it, it, was, it was a mixture, though, of that and, and then just like... Being goofy when I would wake up, man, and, and making fun of songs all the time, you know what I mean? I would make, like I would listen to say like Beastie Boys or something, and I start making fun of the song, making up my own lyrics to it, kind of freestyling off the head, man. And uh, I mean, I still do that shit to this day. Yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, the ability to freestyle, dude, it, it was like really what kept me going into to wanting to get into rap more and more. You know what I mean? It's like Good I kind of realized I had a knack for it, so I just kind of took that and ran with it, man. Good shit. Okay, second question. Uh, what would you call your style of rap? Man, uh, I, don't, I don't really know, bro. Because, uh, you know, I listen to so many different types of rap. Um, I can, I, I can come with, with all sorts of different patterns, so it's really like, man, I would just have to call it a real as real can get. I don't know, bro. <laughs> I can't really label it, brother, because, you know, I, I, I can take the next man's style and make adaptions to it and, and still make it sound like my own, you know what I mean? So yeah. it would have to be versatile, if anything. If I had to label it, it, it would just be simply versatile, bro. Okay. Um, third question, when did you first pick up the pen and paper? Well, shit, like I said, I was writing poetry in, in grade school, and then I think, uh, the first actual rap I wrote down, man, I want to say was sixth grade, and I got a lot of the, a lot of the older homies made fun of me. You know what I mean? Which, yeah. which I find hilarious because they was making fun of me for, for doing it, you know, saying my, my raps was weak, whatever, but now they all slapping you, boy, and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Ask me, when you gonna drop that album? Let me get a copy of that song. But, you know, uh, so yeah, it was like sixth grade, man, the first time I actually grabbed a pen and paper to, to write a rap. Okay. Uh, big question. Uh, how do you feel about cannabis? Uh, don't 
I'm gonna get tired off your own supply. You know? <laughs> yeah. No, I, you know what, man? I, I used to, uh, I used to smoke a lot, bro, growing up. I mean, shit. Even started my own crew and shit called YP. Shouts out to all my Yes Patrol people. Um, now, bro, it's, you know, I got, I gotta be by myself. Shit, give me anxiety and shit. <laughs> so I gotta, I gotta be by myself. They done made it too strong, man. I grew up off that brown weed, you know what I mean? <laughs> All that bread. But uh, nah, man. I, you know, there's a lot of benefits in it, bro. So, you know, it, it, it's helpful to to a lot of people, man. So that, that you know, I'm I'm I'm, uh, I'm all for it. You know what I mean? I, I think in the overall, dude, it, it it should be more legal than than fucking alcohol or, or cigarettes. So yeah, you know, there's there's a lot of benefits to it. For, for many different causes and reasons, you know what I mean? So, I'm all for it, man. If you smoke, like that shit, you know what I mean? Keep Good it lit, shit. keep it lit. Okay, we uh, we heard you working on some a new project. Uh, could you give us a little insight on that? Man, I got a, uh, I got a few things in the mix, man. I got, uh, I got the album right here, The Revelations, I mean, uh, not The Revelations, The uh, Sacramento Sovereignty compilation album that that we're working on you know what I mean um, looking to have that together and out in, in a few months and then uh, I got the revelations that I'm also looking to get out by by like September man um, and uh, the revelations album is long overdue man that, that album was supposed to have been put out since like 97 but yeah I've just been kind of procrastinating on it because of the revelations is like a a full form album that that is supposed to expose everything about me and who I am exactly so I've just really taken my time with it to allow myself to grow and, and kind of find myself in a hole as well before I place that album out but now I'm kind of at that place to where it's like it's time you know what I mean so that that should be dropping this this September if not a little bit before as well but so yeah be on the lookout we got the Sacramento Sovereignty coming as well as the Revelations album coming you know what I mean yes sir Okay, um, next question. Who were your favorite EMCs when you were growing up? Oh, man, too too many, bro. Uh, you know, I grew up, I grew up in the blessed era of, of rap music, man. Uh, when 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 shit wasn't all motherfuckers in skinny jeans dressing like girls and shit. <laughs> real real MCs, bro. Like yeah. Big Daddy Kane. Uh, Rock him, you know, the NWA, the Beastie Boys, uh, Run DMC, dude, uh, Grandmaster Flash, uh, Too Short, you know what I'm saying? I'm too Short, man, I used to get the, uh, the Freaky Tales tape all the time, and my mom would take that shit and hide it from me, and I'd just go get another copy. <laughs> you know what I mean? She, I, I probably had like eight of those, man, but, you know, that, uh, I would have to say, man, though, that, that to me, man, the, the one influential artist overall would have to be Scarface, man. Uh, yeah. You know, he, he's just real lyrical. And, and that's, you know, it's like with Pac. Pac is definitely dope. But Pac's more of like charismatic as to where Scarface's lyrics, man, is just deep. And I'm that's the type of artist I am. It's like, I'm, I'm more into like, you gotta listen to what I'm saying, man, because I'm, I'm telling a story with every rap. And I try to I try to perfect my lines and make sure the words are, are perfected and I, I believe that Scarface does that like really good, you know what I mean? So Yeah. You know, the ghetto boys, I, I mean the list goes on, bro. You, it, it's okay. too many, you know. Hey, yeah. <laughs> good shit. Okay, last question. What was the first feeling that rap gave to you? It was a, a release, man, uh Growing up, bro, I, I, I done went through a lot, you know what I'm saying? Being being out on the streets with the homies and shit, uh, you know, we, we was going through a lot, man, so the feelings rapping, you know, it to me, it, it, it was it was a feeling of freedom because I, I wasn't forced to, to keep emotions and whatnot in, man, um, you know, whether it be anger, sadness, any anything, I, I, I could just release it on, on a song. And that would help free my my mind and, and soul, basically, man. So, yeah. you know, it, it definitely a, a therapeutical thing. You know what I mean? So, I, I would have to say it 
made me feel free, you know what I mean? So, good you know, shit. To this day, so, if any of y'all got uh, congested emotions and stuff, man, whether you rap or not, write that pen and pad and just write it out. It helps, you know what I'm saying? It helps a lot. Good shit. Alright, uh, um, do you have any, uh, any links or anything like that that the people could get at you at or listen to you, to your music or anything? Oh uh, man, I don't, I don't, you know what? I don't necessarily have too many links. I got a SoundCloud out there. Um, real talk, you can, you could just probably Google uh, Real Rap Rebel or, or The Real Rap Rebel. Probably bring up my old MySpace page shit. So even check that out, man. There's, there's a lot of tracks on that that, that are slappers too, you know. Um, and half of them unreleased, so you know what I mean? Give that a listen if you find that. But you can find me on SoundCloud. Uh, I've got a, got a Reverb Nation I'm building right now. And then uh, you can find, find me on Instagram under Real Rap Rebel. Uh, that's about it, man. I don't, you know, I don't do social media too, too much for, for, uh, for my music stuff, you know. But uh, there's some links out there. Just Google Real Rap Rebel and then whatever, you know, platform of social media, I'm sure you'll find something. You know what I mean? Good shit. Well, that'll conclude our interview. Uh, much love for coming out, Reb. Yes, sir. It's my realer. Now get the fuck out my house. <laughs> <laughs> like cribs, huh? Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> All you gotta right. go home, but you gotta get the fuck out of here. Try to wake up. <laughs> All right. Everybody know you're phony like baloney, like baloney. Scam like spam Use a cony in Me and my peeps we ain't playing when, when. And you're faking like bacon You know what service service Craigslist hoes Little hoes You a circus side show Faggots And we shining like diamonds We the ones that